Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this speed shuffle for your convenience. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. Okay, the overall energy for your thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions reading for your person is patience, foggy bog. So your person needs to know more about you. We see the um, energy of protection, guardians of the land, great energy. It really speaks to the fact that your relationship is protected. You know, there's more to know about one another. And transcending, Pegasus, beautiful energy. Look at that. She's hugging this beautiful, uh, essentially winged horse. So your person thinks very highly of you. So we get the energy coming in at the bottom of the deck. The overall energy is your person seeks truth and clarity. Um, that they really, uh, Im the truth is important to them. They want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And they have a lot of clarity about their feelings. So when they think of you, Capricorn, look at this. This is lovely. We see six of wands. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. They want to introduce you to all their friends. They want to have a very public recognition of your relationship they want to invest in the relationship so whenever they think of you they think of you know what they want what their goals are and their goal is to invest in the relationship when they think of you capricorn they do think of you as somebody very tranquil very calm someone who's been to the the wars of life somebody who can captain your ship through stormy waters and they see you as very calm cool and collected somebody who is very deep emotionally and someone who does not speak out of turn too much you know you're pretty you're pretty um very self-possessed you know very much in command of your emotions when they feel in their heart space you know what they're feeling is a little bit of shock and awe here when we get the tower card we get someone who has a certain amount of fear their fear is based on the fact that they do not know if you are really accepting them or not they don't know how invested you are capricorn they are very invested you know they want to build something with you they want to plant the seeds six to seven of coins they want to see a harvest they want some outcome in this relationship and they seem to be very invested in it now their intention is to six of swords move away from some sort of conflict or trouble that they've had either as an individual or in your relationship if there has if there have been misunderstandings or conflict the tower card can say or can show us that there's been an argument or a breakup so in their heart space they're not quite sure where they stand and so their intention is to try to be strong be courageous they want that foundation you know your person intends to have a long-term um, committed relationship with you four of wands is all about foundational work building the pillars building the foundation having the courage having the love and the dedication to doing it but they definitely feel as though the two of you have been in some sort of troubled waters you've had some sort of difficulty they're not feeling too happy about this at all they feel as though you're maybe not choosing them is very likely what i see so when we look at the energy we will clarify everything also but when we look at the overall energy what we see is that your person is very invested but they feel underwater they just don't know what they don't know and they feel almost like helpless you know we see somebody who's in love with you and feels a bit hopeless when pigs fly they think this relationship will take off and become grounded the ten of wands is this is very burdensome for them so they will they will pack up and leave this relationship if they feel that they can't really make any um any headway in a committed relationship with you capricorn so we're going to go ahead and we're going to clarify these cards six of wands why is it here for their thought about you why do they see you as so such a sexy successful choice in love we see that your person is three of coins so they feel as though you're so attractive because you are a builder that in essence you always want something of value and the three of coins is capricorn energy so we see that investment they see you as a person who really likes to build things 
and they're on the same page with you on that. You may have worked with this person also with the coins that are here. So it'll be different for everybody. So what we see here is a king of pentacles energy. So they do see you as a king of pentacles. They see you as a king of pentacles here. That's, the, that's what they find so desirable about you. Once again, a person who's a builder, someone who likes to be successful, they share that value. When we look at the six of coins energy, that is Taurus energy. So let's see, we have the ace of coins. So again, six and one is seven. They want to invest. So when they think of you, they think of you as a good investment. You're a person who shares their values. You're a person, when they think of you, that really is on the same page. Long-term strength card, we see strength here twice. The strength card is a card of courage, of having the courage to love. They see you as a very strong person, somebody, again, ace of coins, who is someone who invests, you know, that if you don't invest in them, they know that the relationship can't go anywhere. So we do see the seven of cups. They do feel confused about how you feel about them. We get the Magician card. Ooh, a Capricorn, you're dealing with somebody who may be quite powerful. That could be Gemini Virgo energy, somebody who's very clever, who's very smart. Um, but it does speak to the fact that they see you as a person who manifests, and they are also. So why do we have the Seven of Pentacles here for their heart space? Look at that. They are so invested emotionally. Look at this. And you can't see this in the basic reading. Look at that. The Ten of Cups, happily ever after. That's literally a woman in her wedding dress, children playing in the background. Very much a marriage card. So is a Four of Wands. So your person is in their heart space. They've already invested emotionally quite heavily in this relationship. Why is a tower card here? What happened to bring a tower moment about in their heart space? So we have temperance card. Temperance is reconciliation. So temperance is trying to work out differences. We get the queen of pentacles. Okay, so we have the Queen and King of Pentacles. So in their heart space, again, they want to work out whatever differences exist between the two of you. Capricorn, there you are in your reading. The Capricorn Queen is very practical. So when we look at their heart space, they want to overcome any difficulties. They want to work out the differences, but they want to build a foundation. So something happened that ripped the rug out from underneath them. You know, when we get... There we go again. Okay, so this happened for Virgo too. And for those of you who've watched, sometimes cards leap out onto the floor. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to take the clarifiers and put them back in the deck. I'm not taking that many. But let's, okay. So when we look at Four of Cups here, your person is not content right now. They feel very much almost like you're not accepting their cup of love. They feel as though you just aren't choosing them and that you may not choose them. So there's a certain fear there. The Ten of Coins. Oh my gosh. So in their heart space, they want to have everything with you. This person is sort of on a marriage or bust journey with you. And that is what they want with you. The wealth and abundance, that is a marriage card. That's creating a legacy relationship. That's two people working together on the same page, building something truly beautiful. And with that king and queen of pentacles, that's a very natural flow of energy. The Knight of Wands, they feel very, they're very driven to you in a very sexy way. Six of Swords says that they feel as though maybe, you know, in terms of what their intentions are with you, that maybe they should have kept things lighter. They feel as though you might not be ready to invest and that if you aren't, they have to leave. But I feel as though with this Knight of Wands card, their intention is to be a little bit... Um, you know, less focused on marriage. They're trying to stay strong. They're str trying to stay optimistic. So they're, but they find you really sexy. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So the Knights are people who come and go. So their intention is to be a light, a lighter weight with you. You know, not to be so heavy, just to be reliable, to be fun, to be exciting, because they, they feel as though that's something that you need and want. 
Now, we see that when we get the Eight of Swords, again, your person is not going to come on so strong. They're going to dial things back. So there may be a part of, you know, in this relationship, you may have told them that it appears that you've told them or said something along the lines that you're not really sure what you want yet with them and you haven't determined that. So they're dialing things back. The Queen of Swords energy, they're trying to stay very balanced. Libra. We also see the Seven of Wands. They do feel as though you maybe have judged them uh, unfairly, and they totally plan on defending themselves. But we also see this card of Nine of Swords. They really feel as though you have dampened the situation and that it just may not happen. This intention here is they don't really intend to lose sleep over it, but they do as a result of these energies of their strong feelings towards you, their intentions towards you, and the fact that right now they don't feel as though those intentions are particularly welcomed by you, Capricorn. You wouldn't be in this reading if you didn't have an interest in them very clearly. So, uh, you know, that appears to be incorrect. But, you know, you tell me in the comments. The Four of Wands energy is their intention. They intend to, once again, the Sun card. You're their happy place. They want this celebration of life. They want this foundation. So you know what? We do see Capricorn because Capricorn's very smart. You guys are very smart, very strategic. This person may be way too focused for your taste on marriage. Princess of Cups, oh, a beautiful cup of love. We have the cup of love over here. So their intention and their action is to give you sort of a, a lightweight love. Oh, look at that, the lover's card. This person is smitten. Oh my goodness, this person is over the moon about you. All right, so why do we have the Ten of Wands here? Three of Swords, okay. So Capricorn, we've had so much marriage energy here for some of you and somebody who's watching this. Somebody is married here, you know, for now, not for everybody. Okay, I'm not going to say that because I feel that this person's very focused, but there is a chance for some of you watching the reading that if you know if you're in a third party situation your person feels that they're in a third party situation they will give up the ghost if they feel that they can't have a future with you you know they would pack up their bags and leave because it's too difficult for them when we see the Princess of Wands, we somebody, see someone who's throwing caution to the winds. Your person's trying to stay very optimistic. We see the energy here with this. I'm going to clarify more on the Three of Swords. We see pleasure, Six of Cups. They want this reunion. They're going to do everything they can to make you choose them with the Judgment card. So they want you to make a definite choice. They want you to choose one way or another whether they're going to stay or whether they're going to go and they want to know that as soon as possible the moon card says that they have a lot of fear that they think that you're not going to choose them the page of cups is here could be a child could be somebody younger but they they will always treat you really well their actions are that they love you very much that you're definitely a rock star in terms of how they see you they put you on a pedestal that is hopes and dreams for love coming true so you know capricorn this is all your decision we have the three of wands your person has decided that you're the one that they will take actions to express that to you they will tell you that they will work on the relationship they're at peace with whatever decision you make, but it is very much something they fear that you're going to cut them out, but they are seeking a victory with that Six of Wands. And we started the reading with the Six of Wands. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. They totally want a victory here. They will never do anything to breach your trust. They will never do anything that is going to ever hurt you, but they do feel highly at risk. So Capricorn, when we look at your overall energy in regards to this reading, it really suggests that you protect the relationship, that you have patience with it, and that you really look at what you want long term. So I'm going to leave it there. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Hope to see you in another reading. And tell me whatever you think of this style of reading if you like it. I'll continue. Thank you. Bye-bye.